Miss Preen! Miss Preen! Yes, sir? Answer the door, will you? John is upstairs. So I said to go to Nova Scotia and get some snow salmon. Come on, my side. Where's Maggie? Oh, I want to see Andrew, you. I'm very glad you're here. I'm very annoyed at Maggie. Very. What's the matter? Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you couldn't walk. Oh, I've been fine for weeks. That's not the point. <laughs> Banjo, I'm furious at Maggie. She's turned on me like, like a viper. You know how fond I am of her. Of her. But after all these years, she's turning into some fishwife. What does she do? But I never believed for a second that she was really in love with Hey, 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 I just got here, remember? Sit down, I'm telling you, you Hollywood nitwit. Oh, a I young know. newspaper man here in town. Oh, gee, Maggie finally fell. What kind of guy is he? Shut up and listen, will you? Fine, fine, what happened? Well, the rain Sheldon just happened to drop off. All oh, hot pants here? <laughs> yes. You see, this young newspaper man, he's written a play. You can guess the rest. Oh. So now Lorraine's taking him up to her cottage in Lake Placid to rewrite. <laughs> now, Benjo, as you can see, Maggie's in there, crying her eyes. Gee, poor kid. Say, what do you mean Lorraine just happened to come along? I smell a rat, white side, a rat with a beard. Oh, Benjo, all right, all right. I, I thought it was best for her. I, I only want what's best for her. Oh, sure. You haven't thought of yourself in years. Can I go in and talk to her? No, I, no, Banjo. Leave her alone. Anything I can do. Where's this guy she lives? This guy she likes. Can get a hold of him? Banjo, slow down. I don't want any phony warrants of you pretending to be J. Edgar Hoover. Been through all that with you before. Now, I got the rain here, and I've got to get her away. It's got to be good, Sherry. The rain's no go. There's gotta be something we can do to get out of here like a bat out of hell. Say, 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 what's the name of that English guy she fancies? Lord. Lord Fanny? No, 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 no. Lord Bottomley, that's No, Lord Banjo, no. No, wait a minute, don't catch on. We sent a telegram saying it's from. No, no, Lord. Banjo. I catch on. Lorraine caught on too. It's been tried. Yeah. I told you Lorraine was no dope. We have got quite the proposition on your hands. Oh, the trouble is there's so damned little time. Uh-huh. Get out of my chair! Oh. Damn, 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 damn. You say there has to be some way out of this. The trouble is, I've done this job all too well. Oh, hell and damnation. Step, huh? The words of the great lyric poet, you said it. Yeah. Gee, I'm hungry. Don't worry, Whiteside. We'll get Lorraine out of here, even though I've got to take her out piece by piece. Merry Christmas, Mr. Whiteside. Excuse me. Mr. Whiteside. I brought something for you. Oh! Uh, Mr. Whiteside, <laughs> that was for you! Oh, Sarah, never mind him, he's quite mad. Come, Petrushka, we shall dance, we shall dance in the snow. Mr. Whiteside! Oh, Mr. Sarah, <laughs> don't mind him, he's quite harmless. Let's feed him some breakfast. 
<laughs> okay, and just what does this mean? It means, Mr. Whiteside, I'm leaving. My ex on death inside, you can send me a check. You realize, Miss Preen, that this is completely unprofessional. I do indeed. I'm not only walking out on this case, Mr. Whiteside, but I'm leaving the nursing profession. I became a nurse because all my life, as a little girl, I saw the idea of serving and suffering humanity. And after one month of you, Mr. Whiteside, I am going to work in a munitions factory. From now on, anything that I can do to help exterminate the human race will fill me with the greatest of pleasure. If Florence Nightingale had ever nursed you, Mr. Whiteside, she would have married Jack the Ripper since found the Red Cross. Exactly 15 minutes. Baby's rosy little body is being thrown out into the snow. Mine host is sworn out a warrant and I am being kicked out. What? I never heard of such a thing. What would he do that for? It's never mind, Banjo, never mind. Point is, we have 15 minutes. Growing a little desperate. What about laying your cards on the table full of rain? Banjo, you know Dream Girl as well as I do. What do you think? You're right. Oh, Banjo, can you go in there and talk to Maggie? I need to think. Say, if I knew where Lorraine was, I could get a car and run her over. It wouldn't hurt her. <laughs> Not much. And so I need to think. Pardon me, miss. Is this the YMCA? Wow! 